I found this round table from my local thrift store. Decided to give it a makeover. So first I am using this Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color charcoal. You can find this paint at Home Depot. It's a really pretty color. It's almost like the mixture of a black and a very dark gray. But anyways, I just went all around the table, gave this two good coats. You want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then just allow everything to completely dry. And since this was chalk paint, there was no prep work needed. I didn't need to sand the surface down or anything. All I did was wiped it down with some rubbing alcohol and then just allowed that to completely dry. So I did end up painting this entire thing. I know a lot of people don't like when I paint the bottom of things. So I literally painted every square inch of this table. Again, ended up doing two coats, dry that first coat before going on to the second coat and then allow everything to dry. Now I wanted to make this look a little bit weathered. So I'm just going around the table with a sanding block. And this part is completely optional. If you don't like your furniture to look weathered, just go ahead again and skip this part. But I like this look, so I did it. And I really like that you could kind of see that original table color kind of peeking through that black. I think it just looks absolutely amazing. And then go ahead and grab a paper towel or a washcloth and just wipe off any of that excess chalk paint dust because now you're gonna go over this with a clear wax. So this is Waverly Clear Wax. You could get this from Walmart. This is just going to seal and protect that chalk paint. All I'm doing is just using a paper towel to wipe it on. A little bit does go a very, very long way and you want to apply the wax in circular motions as well and you really just want to buff this into that chalk paint. I then created this stencil off of my Cricut machine and I don't use any special stencil vinyl for my Cricut. I literally just use any kind of vinyl. So I just found a good placement for it on the top of the table, took off my transfer tape, made sure that the vinyl was completely adhered to the table. I want to make sure that there was no air bubbles or anything. And then I just did a mixture of two of these kind of like beige colored acrylic paints that I got from Walmart using a cut up Dollar Tree sponge. I added some of that acrylic paint, dabbed off some excess, and then just began applying that all throughout the stencil. I ended up adding a little bit of white acrylic paint into the mixture while that beige was still wet. And then around the edge, I went over it with some brown acrylic paint just to kind of make it look like it's nice and weathered peel off that vinyl stencil, let that completely dry, and then I just went back over it with some more of that clear wax to seal and protect that. And look at how awesome that came out. It was a great transformation. I had so much fun doing it. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Have a good day, bye.